Immerse yourself in the profound insights offered by Father Chuck Belmonte as he delves into daily reflections on various gospel passages from the Bible. October 28th, Monday. Why should a Christian be open to having the children God wants? Based on Christian faith, doctrine, and values, here are the seven reasons ChatGPT gave as a response. 1. Faithfulness to God's will. Argument. Christians are called to live according to God's will in all aspects of their lives, including procreation. Having the children God wants is an expression of faithfulness and obedience to His divine plan, recognizing that He is the author of life. Biblical Basis In Jeremiah 29.11, God says, For I know the plans I have for you, reminding us that His plan is always good, and trusting in Him means accepting His blessings, including those that come through children. 2. Participation in God's creation. Argument. By accepting all the children God bestows, Christians participate directly in God's creative work. The act of procreation is not only biological, but has a spiritual dimension in which spouses cooperate with God in bringing new life into the world. Theological Foundation. In Genesis 1.28, God says, be fruitful and multiply, emphasizing the importance of procreation as part of God's original plan for humanity. 3. Sacred Value of Life Argument Christians believe that human life is sacred from conception to natural death. Each child is a precious gift from God, and to reject that gift could be seen as a rejection of divine blessing. Moral Foundation The Catholic Church, in encyclicals such as Humanae Vitae, teaches that life is a sacred gift and that spouses should be open to receive life in their marriages, respecting the procreative nature of the conjugal act. 4. Trust in God's providence Argument Christians believe that God provides what is necessary for those who trust in Him. Accepting as many children as God wants does not mean worrying about resources or circumstances, but trusting that God will provide the graces and means necessary to raise and care for them. Biblical Basis In Matthew 6, 31-33, Jesus says, Do not worry about tomorrow, calling for trust in divine providence in all aspects of life including the family. 5. Sanctification through sacrifice. Argument. Raising children involves sacrifices and renunciations. But for Christians, these sacrifices are a form of sanctification. Parents can experience the sacrificial love that Jesus teaches, putting their children's needs above their own. Spiritual Foundation. In John 15, 13, Jesus says, There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. And Christian parents reflect this love in their daily giving to their children. 6. Transmission of Christian Faith and Values Argument Children are the most direct means of transmitting Christian faith and values from generation to generation. By having more children, Christian parents have the opportunity to form more disciples of Christ, contributing to the growth of the Kingdom of God. Doctrinal Foundation The Catechism of the Catholic Church, 2221, stresses that parents are primarily responsible for the education of their children in the faith. Having children is a way of extending the evangelizing mission of the church in one's own family. 7. Witness to faith and generosity. Argument. In a culture that values control over family life and often rejects openness to life, accepting as many children as God wants is a countercultural witness to faith and generosity. This witness of trust in God may inspire others to reconsider their own family decisions. 
moral argument. Pope Francis has spoken of the throwaway culture, where children are seen as a choice rather than a blessing. By having an open attitude to life, Christians show an example of generosity and surrender to God that challenges contemporary values. Conclusion For a Christian, having the children God wants is not only a personal matter, but an act of obedience, trust and love. It is a response to the divine call to live in communion with God's will, to contribute to the creation and growth of the kingdom of God, and to witness to the faith through a life open to life and sacrifice. I would be delighted to extend an invitation to you once again tomorrow for another insightful reflection on the gospel by Father Belmonte.